functioning of uh, the jetty, which uh, we believe is in the right direction, uh, for which uh, this uh, government or this administration is uh, uh, concerned with the development of uh, the rural dwellers. While the government is making efforts to ensure that uh, uh, the upliftment of the standard of the people in the rural areas are going on, I will want to employ that the uh, villagers themselves do come up and strive to assist themselves or complement the efforts of the government so that uh, development can reach all the rural areas faster than we will be able to do on our own. Uh, it is therefore a singular honor and privilege to declare the jetty open to the glory of God and the benefit of the people of this community. Thank you. Continuation of uh, Dura Week. I've been able to go to uh, most areas within the state, rural areas, of course, to commission some projects, and that is what has uh, brought me and my team to this spot now in Togo uh, to declare open the jetty. I just want to emphasize that uh, it is uh, a program or concern of the government that uh, we want to, as much as possible, carry development to the rural areas. And while we are doing so, I want to solicit the support of the rural dwellers as well, so that uh, you try as much as possible in your own way to complement the efforts of uh, uh, the government, so that together, we shall be able to move the township to the rural area. While uh, we, we continue to uh, assist the rural dwellers, I want to appeal again that uh, whatever efforts has been uh, uh, made by the government, you should strive on your own to ensure that uh, they are sustained and they are well kept, so that in that way we can be encouraged to go further. A situation where projects are commissioned and uh, later on found out to be vandalized cannot enhance progress. And as you know, replacement cost is always higher. And that's why I want to employ you to please, whatever the government is trying to do, make it a point of duty that you secure and ensure that it's not vandalized. Uh, at this point in time, I want to say I'm um, going to commission the jetty to the glory of God and the best.
here present. Your Royal Highness Thomas and Chiefs, Children of Mr. S.K. Wenu, started this annual education project with the award of stage one.
see therefore my intention to pursue these programs that are beneficial to the improvement of the social and economic well-being of our rural populace. Since the commencement of this year's Rural Development Week, I have been privileged to have commissioned various rural development projects in nine local government council areas, namely Agege, Alimoto, Osho de Solo, Mushi, Lagos Island, Etiosa, Itejuleki, Ekwe, and Ojo. Today, which is the last day of the tour, is the turn of Badagri local government. On my way here, I had commissioned the Erekiti and Tohon rural transportation jetties. These are testimonies of our determination to improve the welfare of our rural populace. The Erekiti rural transportation jetty was awarded in October 1993 to Mr. Smart Jumi Enterprise. Enterprises at the cost of 997,032 naira. Government investment in the provision of rural infrastructural facilities is quite enormous. I therefore enjoin you all to perform your civic obligations through front payment of taxes, without which it will be impossible to sustain the economic development of our great state. The Italian Weather Corp Community Hall, which is about to be commissioned and which was constructed at the community with little assistance from Badagri local government, is a project that will serve the social needs of the Italian Weather Corp Community. I commend you for this great achievement and urge you not to rest on your hours. It is important to note that no community development association will afford to sleep throughout the process of development. In this respect, everyone must be involved in the process of building a viable community by contributing actively to econ economically viable projects in your community. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me use this occasion to correct the wrong notion generally held by members of our community that government property is no man's property. Government property belongs to all of us and as such should be handled with care because they have been provided with hard and taxpayers' money. Although government is determined to make life more meaningful for our rural dwellers, through the provision of rural infrastructures, such effort will come to nothing if the communities for those for whose benefit those infrastructures were provided to allow them to be vandalized, stolen, or underutilized. It is your responsibility to ensure that those facilities provided are well protected, and I sincerely hope that you will not fail to discharge this civic responsibilities. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and I have the pleasure to commission the Idale with our core community hall to the glory of the Almighty. <laughs>
are here in this very quadrangle to see the beginning of 1994 Rural Development Week. Today, I am pleased to be here at the closing ceremony of the week-long ceremony. Before declaring this week close, I want to recount the experiences and lessons we should draw from there. As planned, we visited 10 local governments where the following projects were commissioned. At Agege, we commissioned the Apakoda Police Post. At Alimashaw, we commissioned the Kaja Community Bank. At Osho, the Solo, we commissioned the Elasa Major Primary Health Care. At Mushi, we commissioned Ayatul Community Hall. In Ethiopia, Badawi, we commissioned the Eriki Rural Transportation Jetty, Toma Rural Transportation Jetty, and in Dale with our Community Hall. In addition to the above listed commission projects, the following inspections were carried out. One, open web for coastal road in the of the local government. Two, Ajara is a rural education project in Badagri local government. Three, Akarakuma Obita rural education project in Badagri local government. Four, SFP open the Mushi Rural Education Project also in Padagwe local government. The lessons of the week were A. Differing in Lagos State has pursued the basic objectives of the provision of rural facilities, namely road, portable water, jetties, and rural electrification. And B, it has sufficiently mobilized the rural people. This was evident in the turnout of traditional rulers and sons and daughters of the areas we visited. They were enthusiastic in the communal work which has to be done to make life easier in the communities. I want to use this opportunity to thank all the communities visited for their warm reception and wonderful hospitality. Particularly, I want to thank the traditional rulers who attended the previous ceremony. Not too long, I will make an inspection tour of the state and local government projects and we will have another opportunity to meet a cross section of people and their leaders. Rural development activities should not be seen in isolation of what is going on in the urban areas. While the earnings of the rural dwellers is to have life and speed of development of the urban dwellers, it is the prayer of the urban dwellers to have the country home where the atmosphere is serene, clean and dustless. It is my hope that Lagos State Different will not violate the peace and tranquility of the rural areas, but as much as possible, their dreams will be protected. Also, in the same quest, rural dwellers should not wholesale import the characteristics of the urban dwellers. The problem of urban areas today, especially Lagos, are too numerous to list and difficult to summon. They include deficiencies in road network, drainage network, housing, public transportation, secondary school places and access to relative health. This administration is poised to tackle this problem through diverse projects and avenues. The administrative sector for doing this is currently in the making. As you are aware, we have appointed commissioners who are now having their first outing with me today. Uh, and the uh, director general, and after serving them, separately, we have assumed duties. 
من فقط بلام نیم نتیز رنگی سکولاشیم تو دیکیدن از رو را بیل است انستگال سکو این رو را ایریت دیتاشیف از سکیلز ترینیم از فنالی پروژیکت سپانسور وانس ما I rejoice with you all on this memorable occasion and wish you all a very wonderful development with Rani. On this note, I now have the pleasure to formally declare the 1994 Rural Development Week close. Thank you and God bless you.
concentrates and so on are being provided to registered farmers through cooperative societies. The improved tractor hiring services aim at reducing drudgery involved in land preparation. The aim is to assist the medium and large older farms in increasing the area of land under food production and cultivation in the state. The Ministry will render necessary assistance in storage and pest control activities to the farmers. These services are rendered to farmers at subsidized prices. As you are aware, the cost of most food items in the state is alarming and not many Nigerians will purchase them for consumption. The high prices are attributable to many factors such as insufficient quantity of food produced by egg products, inadequate storage and processing facilities, smuggling of food items across the border, vagaries in weather conditions, and constant soil nutrient depreciation. The present military administration in Lagos State intends to banish hunger, poverty, and starvation through the promotion and development of agricultural programs of the state Ministry of Agriculture and Cooperative. The school, amongst other places, emphasize on agricultural programs aimed at involving school children and youth in agricultural production, and this institute will continue to attract special government attention in areas of infrastructural development. In addition, the training facilities will be improved upon in order to increase the students' intake. Similarly, the state government will continue to improve the living conditions in farm settlements in the state because of their contributory efforts in food production for the steaming population. It is gratifying to note that some serious settlers have married, built houses, purchased cars, and have accorded agriculture the recognition it deserves in the society. I therefore have no hesitation in recommending the school the scheme to you graduates. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, before I end this address, let me congratulate all graduates on whom in a few minutes we shall be awarding certificates and more especially to those who will be receiving distinguished prizes. I am sure that you are fully aware that passing the exam is not an end in itself but only a means to an end. Each of you has an ambition which you not and which you earnestly hope to fulfill. It is my prayer that the Almighty God will guard and guide you all in all your life and years. I want to urge you all not to relent in your efforts towards increasing food production in the state, especially for the two acres of land and other inputs provided by the ministry. Finally, I want to urge the parents to give the graduates the necessary encouragement to continue to prosper in their noble profession. Thank you all and may God bless. As well as
distinguished ladies and gentlemen. They did a in charge of shift and see has generated a bit of activities for the submission of the memorandum from the Lagos State Council of Governors and Chiefs to the other five states in the Yoga speaking area. Indeed, there was an invitation for that meeting on the, 20, on the 31st of January 1994. Someone for the pardon in the old Western House of Assembly. Unfortunately, when we go to that meeting, only two memorandums were ready. That of Oshun and Ubu states. We in Lagos State haven't got our own memorandum ready like our counterpart from Oyo Ondo and uh, Oyo Ondo and um, Asha State. However, the meeting was adjourned to the 3rd of February 1994 for us to be able to submit a memorandum. On return to Lagos, we arranged a meeting of the Obas and Eminent Citizens of Lagos State for the completion of our memorandum. And we quickly arrange the meeting of the Lagos State Council of Elders and Chiefs for the 2nd of February 1994 to ratify the memorandum before it is presented to the joint meeting of the Yoga State speaking area. I have found the third of